Hello everyone and welcome to another live protocol video. So on this video we're going to be analyzing one of the most famous and infamous uh, thinkers of our time, Mr. Jordan Peterson, as well as taking a deep dive into the INFJ personality type. Thank you so much for watching and let's get to the video. So let's start with their cognitive functions. If we know how to read the functions, we will be able to realize quickly exactly why every type operates the way they do. So this doesn't mean that every INFJ will be the same, but it does mean that they all use the same operating system. So, But as life experiences, uh, people accumulate the more everyone forms their own unique identity right so similar to trees we all have a main trunk that acts as the trees structural backbone you won't find a tree with the exact same branch configuration so we have we all have this trunk which is our operating system but every tree like just the same way as every person has a completely different branch configuration right so let's analyze the first cognitive function of the infj introverted intuition or ni which makes up the majority of this so-called operating system or trunk. So it is my belief that uh, NI or introverted intuition stems primarily from the trauma of betrayal. Now I'm not saying that INFJs and INTJs for that matter had to be betrayed during the course of their lives to start developing their introverted intuition. Let's just say that during human evolution eight types of brains developed and the traumas people suffered were the tools that coded the way these eight types of brains work and why traumas because only a sufficiently damaging or powerful enough emotion has the capacity to leave a deep and everlasting impression on the brain so these impressions are passed down from generation to generation refining and evolving the operating system although the stigma still lies in the subconscious so ni aka betrayal forces people to look ahead in order to prevent them to be betrayed again this gives rise to the focus on prevention strategy planning pattern recognition seeking understanding and extreme caution all in order to avoid being betrayed again but over time this process is applied to all other situations in life and this is where we find our friend Jordan Peterson so what does Jordan Peterson do above everything else he tries to alert people to the consequences of their actions and consequence doesn't have to be a negative thing consequence is just the result of an action therefore if your actions are productive and positive you'll you'll reap the fruits of your labor if your actions are negative and destructive you'll be met with the less than desirable outcome so but how does he know what the consequences are going to be because of his mind or because of introvert intuition. Introvert intuition uses the process of pattern recognition to logically fast forward events and situations into the future with relatively good accuracy. Why is he so accurate? Why is he able to be so accurate? Because that's what his brain has been doing since he was born. Remember, that's his operating system. The more you do something, the better you become at it. Like the saying goes, practice makes perfect so a brain that began by trying to avoid betrayal at all costs by trying to anticipate all the ways it could possibly be backstabbed or damaged or hurt applies the same principles to anticipate what wrongs might happen in all situations so it's not an optimal way to live because it's a very worrisome way to live now let's dive into his secondary function or the second way his mind is influenced and that is something called extroverted feeling fe or uh, the, or how i like to describe it maternal instinct jordan peterson's second main way of operating is feminine in its essence so everything that involves feelings be it extroverted feeling or introverted feeling it is feminine in its essence it's okay so now i know that maternal instinct is not trauma in itself it's something we inherited from our animal uh, ancestors but even though maternal instinct doesn't act 
effectively qualify as trauma, it is in itself an over-exaggerated emotion. Some may even say one of the strongest emotions people as well as animals are able to experience. Mothers, be it human or animals, will protect their offspring with their own lives. So I don't think I have to explain it further, everyone knows this to be true. Fe or maternal instinct has a sacrificial side to it, he looks to protect at all costs. This means avoiding conflict and making other people feel at ease and taken care of. This facet makes Jordan Peterson actually a very agreeable person. People may think he likes controversy, but let me tell you, he does not. He may not say it, but uncomfortable conflict will take a toll on his mental and physical health. Don't forget that NI, introverted intuition, or the sense of anxiety due to the stigma of always trying to avoid betrayal or possible negative outcomes makes INFJs very adverse to stress. INFJs are not built for stress. They don't handle it well, and I would go as far as saying that it prematurely ages them. But at the same time, they can't avoid to try to alert other people of the consequences of their actions. That maternal instinct continuously tries to help. Having the foresight of the introverted intuition to know where things are headed, combined with that strong will to provide a better future for their children or fellow humans, right, makes it irresistible for them to express their views and bring understanding to others. Now, they're not infallible, they do make mistakes from time to time and they, they do get things wrong, but I strongly believe that their intentions are pure. I'm not surprised actually that Jordan Peterson chose the profession of clinical psychologist because that is exact, exactly what their superpower is. Helping others understand things on a deeper level, things that others cannot see for themselves. Now, this forces them to take a stand. INFJs are not ones to remain quiet. Even though it proves detrimental to their health, their sacrificial nature compels them to lead by example. And that's exactly what Jordan Peterson did, standing against the compelled speech regarding the pronouns controversy and then again with its transgender movement, global warming and wokeism. So these actions stem from that strong irrational desire to protect and steer the boat into safer waters. Remember, feelings, extroverted feeling, FE as well as FI, introverted feeling, Feelings are irrational and illogical. They have to be, because logically, you wouldn't step in front of a speeding train to save another human being, your child. Logic is cold and detached, because logic would uphold self-preservation as the main priority. So in order for the maternal instinct to work, feelings have to escape the boundaries of logic. So, And these strong feelings are what sometimes can lead Jordan Pearson to tears, to commit mistakes, and more importantly, it stops him sometimes from reaching the true depths of a certain issue. And as deep as he can go, I feel like his deep feelings and desire for harmony sometimes prevent him from seeing the bigger, bigger, bigger picture. There's a bigger picture after the bigger picture. And that's what feelings prevent you to do, because feelings compel you to act. But like I said, Pure heart, pure intentions, and a true desire to bring understanding to the world. That's Jordan Peterson, in my view. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. That will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content, please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.